I was in country eight months to the day, and that was Thanksgiving Day. Um, we, like the fa the rules for the area was you your whole platoon or company cannot be back um, in the fob at one time. Yeah. We gave the other squad enough time to eat and refit and, you know, get back out. Um, yeah, so we hit the northern border, turned around, um, then, you know, like, all, I, all I heard was just a loud wash or a loud, you know, the RPG flew past my head. But, uh, yeah, the fourth round, I watched it come in after the two vehicles were already past the engagement area. And next thing I know, both my legs are in pain mm. and it's getting dark. You know, mm. for, you know, we ended up in a ditch and I fell inside the Humvee. Mm. Um, yeah, I just remember, you know, like, like opening up my eyes or whatever, you know, being knocked around. So I couldn't really figure out what was going on. Mm. So I just climbed back up and turret return fire, you know, blacked out a couple times. Um, next thing I know, uh, one of the guys came over and was climbing up on the Humvee and, like, and he pulled me out of the top of the turret. And he's like, yeah, we tried to do a leg sweep, couldn't find your legs. Mm. Yeah, so he's like, yeah, just don't look down yeah, and you'll be fine. And, but yeah, so I called home and I don't remember calling home, mm -hmm. you know, but you know, uh, I talked to my brother and told him that, yeah, I just got blown up and I'll be stateside in a few days. And he's like, what do you mean? He's like, oh yeah, I lost my leg. Mm -hmm. I spent eight months at Walter Reed learning how to walk, talk and function again. And mm -hmm. um, then I was up walking a month and a half after I got hit. Mm -hmm. You know, so I was one of the fortunate amputees because I ran in, you know, there's other amputees where they got, they get blown up and they spend, you know, months or years you know, in a wheelchair or hospital room. You know, so I came home, spent two and a half years learning or just still recovering, you know, and, um, you know, then I got out in 2009 and then went to school, you know, got the degree and kind of got on with my life or tried to. Like, I was fortunate enough to go to Walter Reed. Yes. You know, there's other vets that, you know, uh, go through ID blasts or, you know, get, are close to an art, you know, rock, you know, like an explosion. And, you know, they try to, you know, like in the military, you're, you know, tough enough. You know, mm -hmm. pull the bootstraps up, carry on. Yeah. You know, your number, we need your number. Yeah. You know, you need to continue mission. I mean, I was so medically, you know, doped up on, you know, a slew of meds. You know, they just grab a handful of meds, throw it against the wall, hear the wall, mm -hmm. and see what sticks. <laughs> you know, mm -hmm. and so, but you're at that same time, you're signing papers. Mm -hmm. You know, like, hey, this is the, yes, I want to be legally incompetent. Yes, you know, like... You know, you can have my first. You were signing papers that you, you don't have the mental capacity to read. Didn't understand it. Yeah, yeah. You're not reading it. You're just like, sign here, okay. And so they test me, and it's like, yeah, you know, like, you have PTSD and you have TBI, so you know, go ahead and go to therapy. See you again in six months. Mm -hmm. Like, you just, okay, I know what PTSD is. What what is TBI? Mm -hmm. And they just said, yeah, just go away. Yeah. Yeah. You know, see you in six months. I was like, well, I'm going to be in Fargo. In six months, what is TBI? And they, yeah, they literally were just like, "Go away." Next, I got another. I got another client. It's like, okay, um, take two of these and call yeah. me in six months. So I was, so I came at Fargo and, like, you know, I was just like, okay, what is you know? So I was doing my own research and, um, trying to figure out what TBI was or you know, and, and so I went to a couple private therapists, you know, and neuro neuropsychologists here and got retested and reexamined and. It's like, okay, yeah, here's your, you know, here's some tests and stuff. But it was still, you know, like... Uncertain of what... Yeah, it's like, we're, we're going to retrain your brain to do similar things, but not the cure. Mm. You know, and what I've learned so far from uh, HBOT is it's damn near cure. Mm -hmm. You know, your brain's going to go back to the way it was. Mm. The, your life is going to go back to the way it was. Thank you for spending some time with us. Thank you for uh, telling your story. I know that's difficult. I know it's, uh, it's hard for a lot of guys to kind of open up. And through this interaction, I just see we're, we're already helping vets. We're already, you know, just sharing your story. A lot of guys just want to, hey, I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to yeah. forget about it. And meanwhile, I'm not getting better. I'm turning into a... Yeah, but I know it's fake. 